Good morning everyone. Beth here from Corner Piece Studio. Welcome if you're here for your first time and welcome back if you're returning. I really appreciate you coming back. Um, if you like what you're seeing here, please press my watermark down below, like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow and become stronger and better. Uh, today we are going to do, do day 31 in the scavenger hunt school book for January 2023. Today I will be doing day 31. I found these prompts from the Cage Fish on, on um, YouTube and um, there was 31 days worth of prompts and five items for each day. So that's 155 pieces that you had to search for. And it, it took a little searching. Even had to go on to um, the computer and uh, print out some images. So for today, it's going to be something old, zebra, nose, pirate, and signature. So here we go. I'm going to use two different things that represent something old. So I just saw something I liked here on my table that I'm going to use. Okay. So if you like what you see here, please again like and subscribe and um, please like it and uh, it really helps my channel out and so I'm able to come back and share some more ideas and, and create with you again. So let's do this. I'm going to do today's page and um, then I'll do a flip through. So something old fashioned. First of all, I found this on my table. This is from a golden book. Plus I have an old book page from a Hemingway book. And then a, this can represent something old, uh, old steamer trunk for traveling, which this little guy might have used. He may even have stored his gold in it. There's my pirate. Here's my nose. I'm doing a piggy nose. And here is my zebra. It's a sticker, so I have it stuck on top of my glue bottle just to keep it safe. So for starters, I am going to put this book page in as my, as my something old. One thing I find it really valuable is a little metal ruler. I found this one at Office Depot. It's called Westcott. Really nice little metal ruler. It gives you a nice clean edge for, for tearing. So I'm going to tear some of this um, extra edging off. I don't need that. So I, really, I just want the words. I want the words. Okay, and then once done, I will um, remove the other parts of it. I'm just going to clip that there so it's not distracting, and um, I can get this on. Let's see. I'm going to tear just a little bit of this. So I hope everybody's doing all right today. The I, we were given a gift here of a two-hour delay. So, that's nice. It, um, it gives me a chance to come in and create with you this morning. Let me get my page done. I'm going to put something behind that so the glue doesn't uh, go onto my mat. I don't want that on my mat. I am using... Elmer's sticks to more surfaces glue. I like that. I do not like the Elmer's school glue. That does not hold. But the all-purpose glue stick does. It sticks to more surfaces does. That sticks to more surfaces. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. It really holds. 
and it does not give you any budging room though if you want budging room you're not going to get it with this no you're not so you got to be sure of what you're putting down and where you're putting it when you use this okay there's that let's get this off Oh yeah, we had a gift of a two hour delay today. We had a good heavy dusting of snow, but under the snow is some ice. So schools have been delayed and that's okay. That gives me time to come in here and have some fun with you. All right, so there's one of my, one of my um, something old pieces. I'm going to cut out my pirate real quickly my um, Jack Sparrow pirate. Love those movies. I love them. They're funny and full of adventure. Funny and full of adventure. I watched the years ago when we were traveling to the Dominican Republic for vacations and stuff. Um, used to watch a bunch of them on on the airplane. That that would be there feature movie would be a Pirates of the Caribbean movie so it was pretty cool so he's he's looking up that way he's probably going to be looking up at this piggy because he's not trusting this piggy I think this piggy wants to take his treasure which is in this old steamer trunk so let's just get this piggy cut out a little bit. Just wanted to show you um, just a little bit of fussy cutting online. So it's not easy. Just when you do fussy cut, you move your paper. You don't move your scissors. A lot of people like to cut around with their scissors. And what. You don't do that. You take your scissors and you move the paper around on it. So, and you can move it slowly, and it just works well. All right, I'm going to cut part of that pig's ear off. Sorry, Piggly. Sorry, sorry. I need you to go into there. There we go. That's going down. What? Um, I wanted something old-fashioned. This is from. This is from quite the old um, golden book. I think I'll put that on the edge here. Put that right there. I'm going to cut it down to here. Whoops, wrong end. And get some some of this glue. Now, for something like this, because it's got that extra glue on it from when I removed it to do my cinch bound uh, golden books. So, you're going to need a good stiff glue. So, this glue works well for that. This other one would not. It's an all-purpose glue, and it just doesn't have the stick stick to itiveness that you need that this one has. And I'm in the process of just working through some different kinds of glue sticks. Depends on what I'm gluing as to what glue stick I'm going to be using, because um, each thing is different. Each thing is different. Maybe at some point I'll do um, a little review of glue sticks and my favorites. All right, there we go. Now we can put these guys down and his steamer trunk. Hmm. Got to figure out where I'm going to put my zebra. I can probably put the zebra up there. Sorry, I'm a little out of frame. Maybe I'll put the zebra there going towards the piggy. Yeah, put it across, the black and whites across from each other. Okay, this is um, a thin piece of, car it's a um, thin piece of cardboard. Um, so I'm going to just put this, use this tough glue on it. So to help it stay better. Okay, there's your steamer trunk, Mr. Sparrow, Mr. Mr. Sparrow. 
And I'm glad I'm using this on there because uh, I'm going to put this little magazine underneath because I am making quite the mess with the glue this morning. That happens. So this one, I'm just using, this is just a regular piece of paper, so I'm using the all-purpose glue on it. Get that stuck down. And you can feel the difference in the glue. Paper to paper is good with all-purpose glue, but if you're trying to stick these card pieces down and whatnot, it just does not work. All right, Mr. Piggly, you're going on now. Yeah, this was a fun, this was a fun project to do. A friend of mine and I, we just kind of did it together over the miles. She, she lives a little bit away from me, about three hours away. So we did it across the miles and it was fun. We would get on, we would talk and what we're going to do, and I need to use this other glue on here. It's not going to stick on that shiny. Um... We did it across the miles and went online and did some FaceTiming and chatting with each other to see how it was going for each of us. So, and then we're going to get on on the weekend and uh, share share our books. So it'll be fun. All right, this is one of those um, reusable stickers. So I have to put some glue on this because otherwise... My little zebra is going to run away. He's not going to stay put. And Mr. Sparrow won't be happy about that. Um, let me see. I want to cut some of that white out of there. don't like all that white in the middle of the zebra. Yeah, I know. I got glue on it. So I'll have to clean my scissors. Just use a little alcohol wipes on that. Yeah, that's better. Here's my zebra coming in to chase that pig away from the away from the gold so let's see what I have here I needed something old-fashioned which was a steamer trunk in the papers that I put on the back I needed a zebra there's my zebra and I needed a nose there's a piggly nose just love that nose needed my pirate and my last thing is going to be a signature for my signature I'm going to be using a micron pen it is an archival ink it doesn't go anywhere so I'm just going to uh, keep that on here I'm going to do a pirate signature pirate signature was an X. They did an X because uh, they couldn't write. So there's my signature. Okay, and last thing is I'm going to put the number 31 on here somewhere. I got my little wooden stamps to find my 31. There's my three. Where's the one there? And again, I'm using archival ink so it doesn't so it doesn't uh, fade away or wear away. I'm going to put it right on the steamer trunk. It's there, but it's not. 31. There we go. Okay, so now I've been into this 14 minutes. I'm sorry going to do a little bit of a flip through and um, there we go so I'm just going to do a quick flip through here's day one two and three this was so much fun I had so much fun with this cutting pieces out figuring how I'm going to put them on the layout this one the focal one here was a superhero there's my that there it is my superhero goat. I just thought that was so cool. Um, and my, the focus here was the gargoyle. <laughs> okay. There we are. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm out of frame. I used pigs in here a couple times. It was fun. 
yeah, in my um, first video, you can find the um, the list for this. Okay, there's like something something noisy on that page. So, and then the salt shaker, I made it salt coming down on her. She's the camels are walking out of her mouth. I just thought that was funny. It was one of a fun page. Squirrel peeking out from around a tree. Oh, this was cool. This is, has something metal, so I used a key. I used a, um, a paper clip too, and I glued it on. And then this was a short piece of paper, so I added more paper to the back of it to help anchor it. She's dancing up the steps, and this lady's eating a ladybug. Oh, this was fun to make. I had to do something soft. So I took a candy wrapper and I put some um, stuffing behind it. And this was a piece of wood, something wood, so I made a wooden frame around the ostrich. Then the egg. I found the lady sticking her feet and head out of an egg. I just had to use that one. And here we go, day 30 and 31. I want to thank you again for being here and watching this video and my other one so please like and subscribe below at my watermark down below if you like what you saw and um, we'll be back soon to make and create some more fun stuff until then thanks for being here and have a great day bye now